we are going to see example for bitwise operators so as part of this bitwise operator we have the different bitwise operator symbols which we are going to see in this how it works and all so let me just write a problem statement first the problem statement here is to understand the different bitwise operator to understand the different bitwise operators so as part of bitwise operators we have bitwise and which is denoted by single ampersand sign next we have bitwise or which is denoted by pipe sign so this symbol will be on the keyboard on the key of backslash so on the top of backslash you can find this next bitwise xor which is denoted by caret sign so which will be on the number 6 next we have bitwise bitwise not so this bit, bitwise not will be covering in the next video in detail and the symbol for bit, bitwise not yes tilde sign and the next one is right shift which is denoted by two greater than sign next left shift which is denoted by two less than sign so these are the different bitwise operators which we are going to see in detail so as part of this code we are seeing hash include studio.h and main within this let me take the integer values and apply this bitwise operator so i am directly using this printf what would be the output the output of the output of let me take the values 4 and 5 the output of 4 and 5 is percentile d slash n so here i am using 4 and that is bitwise and followed by 5 4 bitwise and 5 so what would be the output of this so let us see the output before seeing the output let me give you a clear understanding for in bitwise and bitwise and is true when both the inputs are true bitwise and is true when both the inputs are true in remaining all the cases it is 
fall which means if you see this table bitwise and 0 0 will be 0 0 1 will be 0 1 0 will be 0 1 1 will be 1 so it is very clear that bitwise and is true when both the inputs are true in remaining all the cases it is false now let us see the binary representations of these two numbers 4 and 5 the binary representation of 4 is 0 1 double 0 and the binary equivalent of 5 is 0 1 0 1 Now, let us try to implement bitwise AND on these two numbers. According to the given table, we have seen 0, 1, 0 and 1 is 0, 0 and 0 is 0. 1 1 is 1 1 1 is 1 next 0 0 is 0 so the result what we got here is 0 1 double 0 which is nothing but this is 4 now let us execute this code and check whether we are getting the output as 4 or not So let us execute this and check whether we are getting the result 4 or not. So we will be getting that the output of 4 and 5 is 4. So here I am expecting the result to be printed over here of these two 4 bitwise and 5. So it is very clear that bitwise operators are working on the binary oper binary values. Now bitwise uh, values of 4 and 5 we have evaluated. We got the result as 4. So that is what it is displaying over here. So this is about bitwise and now similarly I am just uh, commenting this particular line. I am just commenting this line and I will be writing okay, in printf the output of 4 bitwise or bitwise or of 5 is what is the result of 4 the exclusive or sign is 5 sign sorry the log the bitwise or the bitwise or of 5 The output of 4 bitwise R5 is percentile D. Now let us see the implementation once again. The binary equivalent of 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0, and the binary equivalent of 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. As we all know that the bitwise R is true, as we all know that 
bitwise or is false when both the inputs are false in remaining all the cases it is true i'll repeat once again bitwise or is false when both the inputs are false in remaining all the cases it is true now if you can see the table 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 1 1 is 1 so if you closely watch this particular table you can easily understand how we need to implement on the given binary numbers now let us see 0 1 0 1 is 1 0 0 is 0 1 1 is 1 0 0 is 0 which means the output of this is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 which is nothing but it is equal to 5 now let us execute this code and check the output of 4 followed by bitwise or 5 is what is that we are getting 4 or 5 is we should get 5 now let us execute and check the output of 4 bitwise or of 5 is 5 I hope you understood it clearly for any given number you should be evaluating in this way now let us see for the next one I am commenting this because I want you to make clear understanding for each and every individual operator the output of 4 exclusive or exclusive or or XOR is 5 is so central D. Now the symbol for exclusive R is 4 in the caret sign followed by 5. So if you see the table of exclusive R, exclusive R is true for the opposite sign that is 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 whereas the last one 1 1 is 0 so the bitwise exclusive R is 1 if the corresponding bits of two operands are opposite so the two bits whenever they are of opposite sign only then it is true rest of all the cases it is false now let us see this closely 4 the binary equivalent of 4 is 0 1 double 0 the binary equivalent of 5 is 0 1 0 1 
नेक्स्ट लेट अस इंप्लीमेंट एक्सक्लूसिव और ऑन दिस फॉर एक्सक्लूसिव और फाइव जीरो वन एस इट इज एन ऑपोजिट साइन देन द रिजल्टेंट विल बी वन जीरो जीरो इज द सेम साइन देन इट इज जीरो वन वन इट इज सेम साइन देन इट इज जीरो 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 इट इज जीरो सो द कंक्लूजन फॉर दिस इज जीरो 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 वन विच मीन द डेसिमल इक्वलेंट ऑफ दिस इज वन नाउ वेन वी एग्जीक्यूट दिस पर्टिकुलर रिजल्ट वी शुड गेट द आउटपुट ऑफ फोर एक्सक्लूसिव और ऑफ फाइव इज वन वी शुड गेट द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस नाउ लेट अस एग्जीक्यूट दिस कोड एंड चेक वेदर वी आर गेटिंग वन और नॉट The output of four exclusive or of five is one. This is how we can implement exclusive or.